shed, everyone would just res respect the planet, you know? And to go further, if you really want to know, the planet's not going to die if we keep going how we're going. We're going to die, okay? All animals, plant life, human life will be gone. The earth will still be here. So just treat it nice and maybe we can live on it, okay? Uh, my vision of paradise is where we all live, we all respect each other, we all take care of the animals on the planet, we don't have to eat them, uh, that we allow the earth to be healthy, that we allow the air to be clean, that the food that we eat, we don't poison ourselves, that we take care of the old people, take care of the young people, everything is sustainable. Um, and then we allow everything to flow, because that's what health is. It's similar to Belize, without the trash and racism. It'd be like palm trees, coconuts, like beautiful women everywhere. I think that the rhetoric around the way people see difference, part of my vision is that we change it, that even the quote unquote good guys fighting against the bad guys is still a fight. There are no good guys, there are no bad guys. We are all in it together. And we start sitting down and saying, huh, I disagree with you. Can we talk about it and find some compromise to live together? My vision of paradise on Earth is this. Rapid movement from the cities into the rural scapes in which we all become farmers and we all become educators and we all practice some form of body therapy in which we can all use to heal ourselves. Now in a place such as this, of course we're all gathering, but we see a unification of cultures around the world. That would be my visual, in the physical terms, of what paradise would be, but the ultimate would be that we all live up to our highest frequency, to our highest potential, that we're able to serve constantly and flowing in our love that would also help to support our individual purpose to help unify and make the earth not my country or your country, but to make the earth a better place. And that, to me, will help to signify or, or show what um, unity is without separation. Love, ultimately love. <laughs> my vision of paradise is where everyone is free and we live in a world of equality. And right now we have so many people incarcerated in prison. Um, who I believe should be loved and rehabilitated and released and not used as slaves or not um, warehoused and have their lives just taken from them to waste away. And some of my ideas are, one, local, local communities. Um, and so the resources we use, the materials we use, the, the, um, the way we envision life and the, and, the, and the products we create are all local and unique to that local area. So what works here is not going to work in Wisconsin, it's not going to work in Hawaii, it's not going to work in India. Um, I also would like to see a world with more anarchistic socialism. Giving the children the life that must be lived, living and healing the rights that trust will lift, revealing the meaning of the light love ship. A new manifesto for the blue, the tan, the yellow, the black and the white. Take, 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 take back our lives and give, 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 give back our sight and give, give, give love to one another. We can create this in every beating heart with every, every one of us. Plant, rock, vegetable, everyone, one, one, one love. Uh, what would it be? Um, well, it would be a place where we could go about our daily lives without having to worry about the resources, meaning that we live sustainably or, or um, have economic uh, endeavors that are completely sustainable, and the issue of environment wouldn't be something that we have to concern ourselves. That would be my vision of paradise. I think peace would probably be right near the top of the list for me. Uh, I think we really need to look at how we can live on this planet without fighting and killing each other all the time. And I think if we took our energy away from that and focused it on how we can live more sustainably, we would be really successful in overcoming a lot of the challenges that we face right now in our society. It's a place where the oceans can be returned to uh, some of the splendor that they were in past years and where future generations of people 
can go to the ocean, um, explore it, uh, you know, eat sustainable seafood, see the wildlife, and really um, feel like they're part of, uh, part of a really uh, healthy planet. We work in developing countries. We work with farmers on marginalized uh, lands, typically in rural communities, to integrate tree planting into uh, agricultural systems. Um, and we, we use a lot of different species, and these, uh, and these species provide a, just numerous, just countless benefits, including controlling erosion, uh, restoring underground water supplies, um, bringing nutrients into the soils. They can provide a means for generating income through, um, you know, selling uh, non, well, both timber and non-timber wood products. Um, what else they also obviously are a huge benefit in com uh, combating climate change. Paradise on planet Earth would be um, an economy that's driven by life-centered principles, uh, where everyone um, understands that they're important, and that the actions they take are important, and um, that they're on this earth to make a contribution and have fun at the same time. Paradise on Earth would be something where people, communities, cultures across the world are coming together to try to coexist and uh, create a, a more sustainable existence where uh, people are, are happy and, uh, and can enjoy one another. and. Uh, are, are able to, to create and, and live in a, in a wonderful community.